Hello everybody, welcome back to the end. Yes, it is the end, you'll soon all be dead. Yep, um, um, we've got a, a big project plan. Yep, which... and we've just had a nightmare trying to set up our recording. Everything that could have possibly gone wrong has pretty much gone wrong. I think we've been, but... I think we've been setting up for about an hour. <sighs> oh, I think more than that, actually, now. Anyway, we'll try not to let that affect the viewing pleasure of the audience. Of That's course, you of guys. That's you guys. <laughs> Just yeah, you got a role to play in this. In this, <laughs> yeah. you're in it. We're in it together. You're very important yeah. people. So, um, what we wanted to do was, we were thinking, we wanted to do something with the end, and the unique characteristic we decided for the end is the void. The fact that it is the place where you can fall into the void. To your doom. You can't, doom, you can't do doom, that in the Nether or in the Overworld. Um, so we decided it would be the ideal place to build a couple of mini games, sort of, uh, you know, parkour or fighting arenas or spleef arenas, that sort of thing, where you can be knocked into the void as 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 a as a real danger, you know, uh, which is a little bit more exciting than lava or something. So we've decided that just over this bit of land here where we are, since there's this nice overhang just below us, we're going to build bit of a staircase down, sort of an entrance, and then we're going to build a, a, a road leading off into the void, and then it'll split at the end, uh, and we'll have our mini-games being built there. So, Hooray. Yeah, without further adieu, let us, let us do that. Yes. Okay, good. Have you got things? Things? things yeah. Oops. Did I just look at him? No, he looks fine. I think. <laughs> I hope he's fine. He seems fine. He's not attacking me. It's good. Silly you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bring popping down a couple more torches. Anyway, I'm gonna. I, I was thinking we could have like a a circular where ring. Where are you? I can't even here. see you. I'm up here. Oh, you were right by me. I was behind you. Oh. Ah, there you are. Ha ha ha. I was thinking if we had... Oh, this pick is slow. If I'm not near there, I'm just going to grab my normal pick. I put everything in here because I didn't want to yeah, lose I it in the end. Yeah, I put my stuff um, there. See, I was thinking we could have a circle. Three, four, five, six. Um, here, which we can have like a path, a staircase leading down. Is that going to be too wide? That's eight Yay, blocks. That seems quite... Well, that's a radius of eight. I wanted to make a diameter of eight. Uh, I've got a circle generator up on my laptop screen. Yeah, that's quite big. Whilst you're doing that, shall yes. I build like a little platform out of ways out of... I was you thinking could, yes. stone bricks just for like the thing. Just so um, stuff and things. I'm assuming you're going to come down to roughly the level that it is out here. Yeah. Do you want to build using odd numbers or even? Uh, odds are definitely easier if you want symmetry. Okay. As how do as strange as that may sound. I know. I know. Uh, how do you? I wonder if I can put a radius of four point five into this generator. Can you not do diameters? Uh, no. Not not with this one. Well, you have a rubbish one. Well, I don't know, I just... I found one. This is all I got, man. Well, it's not good enough. It's nowhere near good enough. Yeah, that's fine. You can do 4.5. So. Uh, yes, I can. Good. Doing, I'm doing a 11. 11 is kind of big as well. For a staircase. <laughs> I'll do a 4.5. We could do the staircase after we've sort of got the other bit. No! <laughs> okay then. So, whilst, whilst Sparks is um, being Sparks. Stubborn. Um, Let's talk about a couple of things. I think the first thing we should talk about, considering Sparks is talking about numbers, is um, 
if you remember in our last episode... Oh, don't bring this up again. In the last episode, I said um, that if enough people wanted um, a learning to count with sparks, and um, I'm sure there will be a lot of people. Um, actually, I'm not even sure if I said there'd be a lot of people. But I said if you leave enough comment, if enough people left comments, that um, sparks would do a learning to count with sparks video or several learning to count with sparks videos. Alright, alright, well if and, lots um, of people if lots of people left comments, yeah. How, how many people left comments? And the response there were literally thousands upon thousands of comments. Maybe even going into millions, in fact. Um R really? Yeah. And also if you could actually no that's fine, that's fine. No, that's good. Okay. Um yeah, there were there were so many. Yeah, it's un it's unbelievable. Um you're going to have to take my word for it because I, I know you haven't got as far as numbers <laughs> that big yet. But honestly, there are thousands of them. So um, yeah, you're going to have to you're going to have to start doing the learning to count with sparks thing, which I know you're looking forward to anyway. No. And, um, and it will be I great fun, and people will learn many many things. Uh -huh. It will be okay. good. For Everyone learning. involved. The thing is, though, I don't think they're going to learn because it's not—it's not learning to count. No, no, no but you—but but they can help you sparks. learn. They can help you learn. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. I know you're scared. I know you're scared because you're not. The, the, you're worried that people are going to laugh or be mean to you. I'm but scared of change. The, but the internet isn't like that. The internet is a very kind place. Nothing ever bad has ever happened on the internet ever. To anyone? Um, no, never to anyone. Um, uh -huh. You apparently don't well, know the meaning well, of the word that, odd either. But that never faceless mind. lie makes me feel a little, a little better about myself. It's not a faceless lie. It's the complete and utter truth. It's, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. A wonderful thing that indeed has happened. Because you have so many supporting fans that that want mm -hmm. to be able to count. I we'll want you to be able to count I see. one or the others. They're, right. They want me to get over my disability. Over my fear. Yes. Fear yes. of numbers. Yes. They're supporting you all the way. This is why I'm friends with the crazy man, because, you know... The only one of them. With, I mean, every single with, one of them. With him and a calculator, <clears throat> I don't really need to do maths. Yes. Although, although calculators are a little... Crazy man is better at doing, like complex sums than calculators are but calculators don't sigh quite so much so I prefer the calculator no they just sign ah <laughs> not when I use them <laughs> ah, yeah anyway that, that was the first thing that I wanted to talk about the other thing I wanted to talk about and I say wanted because I saw we sort of both planned to do a bit more research on this and then didn't. Yeah. Was the Xbox One has gone back on most of its policies, pretty much all of them. Um, Which is... They seem to be... Makes me a little suspicious. Who was that video by? Uh, we should link it in the description because um, he had some very good points. Yeah, there was a person who, if we can find again, we will link in the description. But it was just... Yeah. It wasn't someone who either of us watch on a regular basis. It was yeah. just a random suggested video that we happened to look at. Basically, and, um, what he was yeah. saying was that um, the Xbox One has decided they've, they've gone back on their idea of, of making you have to stay online for everything, but they're fixing it with a patch, with a software patch that you have to download onto your Xbox when you first buy it. Um, rather than actually recoding the Xbox and that was making him worry and I think it's a very good point that Xbox may very well sort of change their minds to to agree with the with the uh, pitchfork wielding crowd for now and then in a year's time when everybody's bought their Xbox one they could very well have a patch update which just brings everything brings their entire policy back um, yeah I think the other point. good point is here is the console hasn't been fucking released yet. So why the hell? Also, this, the, you know, whatever. It's quite why steep, th isn't it? Should I bring it back a bit? Not only is it quite steep, it's not circular or, or anything. It's also an even number that you said you were going to do odd. 
but whatever. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, the console hasn't even been bloody released yet, so why the hell do, are they releasing a patch? A patch yeah, is what you do once you've distributed and realised you've massively cocked up. Yeah. They are still in the... They're still at a point where they can easily edit the code or even hardware if need be. Yeah. And, um, it's still in It's still in development. Yeah, well... That should not be an issue. Yeah, and so... It just defies logic. Oh, right, my staircase is not in line with your pillar, great. No. I I I'd have move it. I I I thought you I thought you'd have checked that. Well, I thought you'd have checked mine because I'm pretty sure I started first. I'm pretty sure that I put the ladder down before we started recording. I didn't realize you said the ladder was temporary. Why would you put a temporary ladder in the way of a staircase that was on its way over? Because you hadn't started the staircase. <sighs> Yeah, X yeah Xbox One. I'm not buying one, and I I hope that people are a little cautious before going. Oh, great! Xbox has gone back on their policy. That's the end of that. I'm going to buy one because I have a feeling people are going to buy one. And then they're going to be suckered into a, a patch update, a mandatory patch update later. Yeah, is I think it will have won Xbox some supporters back, but I do but wonder I think they whether have it damaged themselves beyond beyond repair for the Xbox well, One. Now. I I do wonder. I don't know. I I I make guesses. I've made guesses about this sort of thing before, and I I'm I underestimate the stupidity of the public. Yeah. Um, the other thing which I hadn't really thought about until I watched that video was the good point that if a console has to be online, even if it has to be online once a month or every half a year, every two months, if how, like it has to check to a server and Microsoft won't support that login server forever which means that you know in a couple of years maybe five years ten years maximum they're gonna get rid of that server and you're gonna not be able to use your Xbox anymore because it won't be able to check online and you're gonna so, be yeah, stuffed stuffed like a boiled egg um sure <laughs> Yeah, so Xbox is still sort of I I I'm I'm not really an Xboxer anyway. I don't play on the Xbox, so I wasn't going to get one anyway. But now I'm definitely not going to get one. They've Makes lost a supporter that they don't have. <laughs> yeah, what a exactly. shame! The problem is though. Them right. I think the majority of people who who will be getting an Xbox in general I think they're probably going to be younger and I and they mm. for the simple reason that it's probably going to be purchased for them by their parents as gifts yeah because that's an expensive console man yeah and let's face it pretty much every gamer knows that parents know almost nothing about yeah um, consoles the, or gaming you can't expect them to really research into it no i mean some of you may be lucky and have parents that enjoy playing video games with them or something like that but i'm going to say the majority of parents probably don't care at all about no. video games and they may buy you a console, but they don't really know what it is or what it does or anything. So they're going to see, oh, Xbox thing, it's, yes, That's, it's the thing. It's Let's get it. With the kids. Let's get it for want. little Timmy. Or little whatever Timmy. our child's name is. <clears throat> because you that, don't remember? That, that's how loving and caring parents are. Yes. Um, definitely. I'm not just making that up. To yeah, calling their children Timmy. Reason. Yeah, because they can never remember the child's name. Because Parents can be whatever evil reason. giving them a name like that. Sometimes they don't call them Keith. That'd be a worse name. Much worse yeah. name. Uh, Keith. It's a shame that guy who contacted us about the copyright claim from YouTube wasn't called Keith. Was he called Victor? Vincent. Vincent. 
Yeah, if you're wondering, people, um, Vincent is the name of the guy, the one guy who runs the... YouTube, the only yeah. person that seems to work there. Yeah. Wee. Boink. He's the office man. Um. Okay. We're doing this. I'm, I'm Just, we're the gonna. I probably have to fill the old space it, in. We're gonna be having to travel to the other end of the bloody island just to get down the stairs at this well, rate. Do you want me to make it less? I thought you were gonna shallow? do a spiral staircase. No, no, don't be silly. So, you want something grand leading towards this thing. So when you said a circular staircase, twice. I said I said a circle with a staircase leading down through it. So it's just going to be like a, there's going to be a circular mark on the surface. Okay. With a stair, with a staircase leading down. How far up are where you? Where am I in the end island? Am I quite far in? Um. We'll go to the end of your staircase. Currently, I'm here. Okay. How far up are you in terms of height wise? Uh, my Y is fifty-two. Okay. Um. So let's say. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Yeah, you're gonna. You know that pillar? Yes. That's reasonably far in. That is where you're gonna hit surface level. Yeah, well, I'm I'm here. I'm, a, I'm doing I'm doing a one. I'm at one minus right here. minus fifty four is roughly where I got doing I what here. you're currently doing. Oh, because it keeps rising, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. What I might do then is um, I'm going to get it to become circular. Oh, oh god! I, I could make I could just make it shallower. Oh couldn't god! I? Oh god! <laughs> This is why we usually plan things out on camera first, people. Off camera. Yeah. We're planning things out on camera now. This is what happens when we do that. It doesn't go well. It goes it goes less than well. Some would even say badly. <laughs> yeah, I, still, at this still point, adjusting to the I would say bloody terrible. Well. Okay. Um Yeah, we've Yeah, we're very busy at the moment with all sorts of things. Yes, very busy with everything, and we're trying to sort of make sure we have enough content for things. Because I'm going on holiday uh, end of next month. Yeah. And we're desperately trying to get... And we're, yeah, we're running out of pre-recorded footage for our other series. Is like yeah, Evil Land and Spellbound and... Cave, so we've got so much recording we need to get done now. Yeah. We were, we were planning to do some other things, but I don't think that that's going to happen until probably at least um, we were, September again. We were going to bring out two new series of yeah, we had, games. Yeah, we had a plan for two new series, but um, series that, is. that's looking less and less likely, in all honesty. Yeah, and if there's um, a new series that comes out anytime soon, it's much more likely to be a solo series from one of us. I do have a new solo series planned. I have mentioned it before in one of my Sparks Plays Minecraft. I also so. have a new solo series planned. Do I you? have not mentioned it Ooh. on camera, and apparently not even to Spark. <laughs> no. Um, though I, I thought that I had mentioned it to you Spark. You probably have. You know me and my sieve-like brain. No, sieves catch some things. They catch some <laughs> of the larger objects. Your <laughs> brain... They get the big ideas. Your brain's more like a plastic bag without a bottom. Yeah, like a top like a top hat with where, where the, the, the tops sort of popped off. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why I'm helping you find analogies for my mind that are less than complimentary. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, how does this yeah. staircase shape seem to you? Oh, I'm scared to even look. <laughs> what the fuck I is going on here? What is this? It branches. Okay. 
Well, okay, the, yeah, this isn't as yeah no okay that's 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 actually fairly reasonable. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. Oh god, just oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's your tower? Oh, what's your tower looking like? Is this the first branch, the first splitting point? Yes, this is the. I first. thought it hadn't rendered. I was about to walk off it then. No, I haven't finished it yet. Yeah. I did see you quite close to the edge, but um. Yeah, this is basically gonna, I guess, almost like an intersection, really. Yeah, intersection one. I'm wondering. Hmm. Actually, no. I think that's probably enough, far out enough from the island for what we need to do. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we we thought we wanted we wanted a couple more games and things like that. Yeah, so we want, yeah. We wanted fun to things to do, and um, to keep it with the kids. Yeah. And w with something we'd been pretty much planning since day one, and we don't really currently have any sort of games to play no we were gonna build a a pig racing arena and we had we had quite a lot of sort of first drafts of that and then horses came out and pigs are very difficult to steer in comparison to horses so we, we may still do a pig racing ah why is he came out of nowhere nothing to ah. do with me. at least you weren't near the edge no i was by your stairs i was coming back but where's your spawn set uh, the village. Oh, yeah. great. I'm oh, it's not, not that I'm far. I'm not sure when mine is set, so I, I best just not die, huh? Uh-huh. Best not die, eh? It would be the best. It would be for the best. Yes. Oh, I was going to look up some other topics of discussion as well, and uh, it's so... Yeah, so much stuff been we going on. Yeah, I've been I've been work slaving slaving away trying to get the Accidental Games website done as well. It's so close to finishing. Coming finished. soon to an Coming internet soon. near you. Indeed. Um, we don't really have anything else that we can mention to our people, our lovely, lovely people. I was gonna say. Oh, actually, what would people think of the cake defense thing if you watched it? Oh yeah, Nick, Nick Vegas and the yeah, cake defense. Yeah, we, we, we did that. That was immensely fun. That um, was very cool. We kept we, playing quite a while after we finished recording as well. Yeah. And uh, man, that thing gets really tough. I mean, It does, yeah. After a while we found out that we could just cheat and get sort of maxed out gear. And we were we, still struggling to we, we, Yeah, we, we kept, to fight we kept dying off. on a certain wave and we had no idea how to how to deal with it. It was I can't remember what the wave was. But it was mental. Uh, I think it was like cave spiders and wither skeletons. Yeah, I um, think it came down to one of us sort of just hiding in a corner, and then the other two sort of running around in circles, distracting all the mobs. Yeah. So we were gonna go and reset the panel, um, <laughs> uh, uh, reset the game. So I went to the admin panel, and then noticed that I could give all players a load of. Material. Stuff. I've just just picked your stuff up. <sighs> okay, some of that isn't mine. That was mine. Yum. There we go. Yeah, so the cake defense was really fun. An amazingly designed map by FV Disco. Yeah, like, if you haven't very, played it, give it a shot. You, you do. Well, I think it's technically designed for. One to three players, isn't it? Yeah, one to three players. Yeah, I, you would, I, I don't know how we, I, we would have struggled a hell of a lot more if it, if it had been that many. Yeah. In all honesty. But yeah, the um, Nick, uh, the cake defense was the first video in our, in our new series. The series. Well, it's not really a series, but it's, it's not really a series. It's, it's, it's going to be called every other Sunday stuff. Basically, we noticed that with our current recording schedule, we have every other Sunday with nothing to do. So we decided that we'd try and do more collaborations because collabs are so much fun. Very yeah, fun they are a lot of fun. We want to do more because they are fun. 
So yeah, and, this um, this week there won't be one because we've got uh, we've got something for the weekend. But uh, next weekend will be that following fortnight of festivities. Yeah. Fortnight I'd... of festivities. Why didn't we call it that? It's too late now. <laughs> Not really. It's in no way too late. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Fortnite of festivities. Uh, yeah, it, it may be called that. I quite like that. Well, I guess it isn't too late. <laughs> Do you okay. guys have any name ideas for a, a fortnightly collab series? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah. So there will be that for you to enjoy. And if you've got any sort of collab games that you'd like to see us play, yes, actually, if you've got any suggestions, way, that'd we've be got a couple a of ideas for idea. collab things. But uh, you know, if, if there's some awesome game we don't know about, we'd probably be happy to play it with somebody. Yeah, and um, 